So now that we have our hyperdoc kind of set up and I've kind of told you what the layout is, I'm going to go through and I'm going to delete these words because that's not typically what mine say. It'll start with usually something about like the warm up or task number one. And on the right, it'll say your job. And then part one. Your job. And what this is, what this portion right here essentially is, is it's the title. So I would have an image of the warm up. If it's a quote that they're analyzing, if it's a math problem, if it's a science image, it's usually some sort of image I have here. And on the right, this is what I give them a step by step instructions. That's what they're going to do. Now for part one, let's say I wanted them to um, analyze a document. So part one, analyze. And if you want to have them analyze a picture, analyze a drawing, over here on the right side, you could have a place where you ask a question. And then something cool is you say insert table and you insert a one by one table, just like we did at the top. And let's say I have a friend who whenever she does this, she makes sure that she makes it a specific color. So the kids all know that, if you know, Kendra Milburn, Kendra Perry, sorry, she got married this year. Um, Kendra, she always talks about how she tells her kids that if there's green on your page that you haven't filled, that's a problem. Go back and do it. I think she actually does it with blue, but for our purposes, we're going to say green means go. Um, but if there's a blank green and you haven't filled it in, go ahead and do that now. So this is where they type responses. And you usually have an image of whatever they're going to do. Part two. Let's say they're going to watch a video. I will usually have a screenshot of the video or an image of kind of what the video they're going to watch looks like. Your job. I give the link and any questions here. Again, insert table, a one by one table. If there's a question for them to answer, do that. You don't have to do that every time. And then finally for the wrap up, you can give a link to a Google form. A Flipgrid. Anything works. And then at the very bottom, you can have a place where you say, did you fill out two green boxes? Question mark. Insert a table. Boxes above. Initial below to confirm. And essentially what this does, is this is something my friend tells me she does too. Um, she forces the kids to initial below that they filled out however many green boxes there were that they filled them all in. So this is kind of like where they're initialing, they're giving you a digital signature.